Welcome back to Lions Stadium here on the campus of Prestonwood Christian Academy, All Saints football. 20 to 14 our score, the home team Lions six in front of the Saints. Saints getting ready to get the second half kickoff and we'll get underway. I'm Chris Espinoza, he's Glenn Stretch Smith and uh, thoughts on the first half partner? Well, you know, I, I, I like that uh, they defer, the Saints won a toss and deferred here to get this in the second half. Now, I don't think they thought they'd be down six, but you know what? That's why you kind of strategically take that. Uh, first half wise, I thought it was a tale of some big plays. And you say that, but can you really say some defensive stops? And you can, both teams made some critical defensive stops. And so I think that, you know, I think the second half is really gonna be a tell of, can you get those critical stops and can you maintain those drives, keep those drives alive because uh, right now, you've kind of shown your hand, Chris, offensively what you can do. There's only so many things you can practice during the week. And so really it comes down to not schematically or out scheming one another. It comes out playing one another, your guys against their guys, and saying, you know what, we don't care if you know what we're going to do. We're either going to run the ball right at you or we're going to take this shot. And, and, and you know, I think, I think the Saints are going to have to hit some shots because it looks like right now that Preston Wood is saying, you know what, we're going to make your quarterback beat us. And I think you're, they're going to challenge Jefferson and say, okay, if you, you can beat us, beat us. If you can't, then you know what? We're, we're going to win this football game. Absolutely. The Saints' success so far has been on the ground. Jacob Matlock with a huge run there in the second quarter. And a couple of big plays from the Lions as well that, as you said it, that's you know right now the difference in the game. And uh, we're set here for the uh, second half kickoff. Want to re-welcome all of our viewers on Texas24.net as this kick is going to be taken by Tony Lacey at the 10, looking for room and coming up out across the 30. That's a nice return there for the Saints, and that's where the offense will get started. Yeah, good kick. He had a little breeze behind him and thumped that ball into the corner. Nice job by Lacey to go over there, field the ball, and turn it north and south, get it out above, you know, out, out in front of the 30 there, and see if you can make something happen here. Offensively, you know, the Saints have come out in a two-back set and trying to run some lead and trying to run and get the, you know, get the full back up on a guy, and then they've run this stack set outside. So let's see what they do to adjust here in the second half. They're going to come back out with the two backs, full back, and it looks like full back ahead of Joseph Matlock. That's going to be Sanders. Epperson takes the snap and fakes it to Matlock. Now trying to hit the slant. Gets it out to Patterson, and Patterson off the tip at the line of scrimmage brings it in for a four-yard gain. Well, you don't see that very often. You don't see a ball tipped at the line of scrimmage and still completed for the slant. But you know what? Good for, good for him and good for tracking that football. Keeps you in a manageable second and about long six. Again, two backs in there. We've seen this now tonight. This has been something that they're comfortable with. And it, and it looks like, again, Chris, it's a numbers game, correct? How many guys are outside and how many can you get a hat on inside? Seven defenders at the line of scrimmage and Matlock runs into two of them at the 35. It's gonna be a minimal gain. And, and that's exactly what you saw. You saw, you saw too, many in the, too many in the box right there. Now that's a situation where you know what, you almost got to check out of that or get out of that in that scenario. You don't have enough to block them all. Now you're going to see them go back to this stack look. Now here we are outside in the true cover zero. I mean, they're man to man outside out here. Hillman and Kramer here on the near side of the formation. Bothwell and Patterson on the far side. And he's making a check. Epperson's calling something, trying to check the line of scrimmage. Calling out protection. Matlock to his left, Kramer in motion. Snap back. Out route to Kramer once again. Kramer makes a great catch through the defender, and that's first down yards. We've seen that play work a couple times. Yeah, they run the short motion inside. That allows him to get some area to run that out. You watch him when he runs that short motion inside, and then you're going to see outside. He, he throws that ball outside. It's the only place he can miss is outside. Good throw and catch, good pickup, and a good conversion on third down. 45-yard line, the line of scrimmage now for the Saints. Epperson once again barking orders at the line of scrimmage. Now again, you're formation. in this stack look. You're in this stack look again now, and you're outnumbered to run the ball. They got to throw it here. They hand it to Matlock, and Matlock's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. And you called it, partner. Yeah, you got it. When you see, when you see true cover zero outside, there's not even anybody in the middle of the field. 
They're man-to-man -man down here on this stack look. They're man-to-man -man at the top stat look. That's four. That means you got seven down inside. You don't have enough to block them. Same look, right? 89 in your safety. You're down here covering one and two. Then you're cover zero at the top again. Nobody when I say cover zero, there's nobody there. Nobody in the deep middle. They fake the handoff in Epperson. Oh my. Trying to get it and out. And that's to a lateral. They're going to call that a lateral, or and they're going, or they're going to call it. I don't know if they're going to call roughing the passer there, or are they going to call grounding the football? As that was a lateral, he threw that ball about four yards behind him. He threw Officials it behind are going to talk about it. But if it's a lateral, can it be intentional grounding? Because then isn't that technically a fumble? I don't know. I, what I'm trying to figure out is, it, are they calling roughing the passer oh, here? Yeah, did you see him up around the head? It looked like the defender had the quarterback up around the face, face mask. And and he is yep. roughing the passer. Yep. Did they call? They did call roughing the passer, and that's an automatic. That, that comes with an automatic first down. What a break. You could see at the tail end of the replay, it looked like the defender had Epperson up around the face mask, and so that's the penalty, and it's going to be a 15 yard march off. So, 41 yard line of the Lions is going to be the new line of scrimmage. That's a good break for the Saints. Yeah, we apologize. You can hear that breeze in our mic. I, I, I hate that, but you know what? We're, we're, we're high atop the stadium here. <laughs> Epperson looking to throw here on first down. Across the middle, he has Patterson. Patterson takes a hit as he catches the football, hangs on nicely, and it's a seven-yard gain on first a nice down. Nice job running a little outside curl, a little, uh, we used to call it a spot route. It's kind of a short curl route. Finds that soft spot in the zone and sits it down. Gets you the second and three here. Epperson with the play, call in from the sideline. A double set to both sides. No huddle, pistol formation. Fakes it to Matlock, has the out route, and Kramer unable to bring it in. It's going to be third and short. And that's where that, that, that now they're starting, to, they're starting to go to the well one too many times right there with that out route. Don't be surprised if you see that short motion again. Don't be surprised to see this corner sit on the football. That's where you got to have a double move. If you go out and up right there, it's a touchdown. You got to have a double move off of something that you feel good about. Double back, Sanders in the backfield once again. Hand it to Matlock. Matlock with room around the left side, trying to find some room, and now he's looking for the corner. Lowers his head and folds his way down to the 10 yard line. And that time they found the Lions defense flat footed, and it's a nice run there for Matlock, and it might be first and goal. Nice job by the left tackle. Seal it inside right there. Look at him seal that inside. And he's got the ability to bounce that outside. Once he makes that safety miss, now he's off to the races. First and 10 from the 11. Saints threatening here early in the second half, down 20 to 14. The stack look to the top again. Fake it to Matlock. Going for the jump ball in the end zone, Ooh. and Lacey, the intended target, and the defender over his back knocks it away. Looked like he might have had a chance to bring that one in. That was pretty good defense there. That was good defense. Wow. How to put it up and let your guy make a play, but boy, in that situation, when you got some over the top help, it makes it tough. Again, stack look to the top. Don't be surprised to see him go to the slant to the top. Instead, they hand it to Matlock, and Matlock ahead to about the seven or eight yard line. Oh, yeah. It's going to be third and about seven here. Seven. Now, this is, these are tight windows. Here's where you've got you've to throw this ball on time. You cannot hold the football here, and you can never be laid across the middle. I'd be telling Epperson, hey, throw it, catch it, throw it, make your read and throw it. And this is tough in tight areas. Here we go with this double stack receiver look. Saints can get a first down without scoring at the one. They're running that short motion again. Pressure and oh Epperson my. just gets rid of it, throws it out toward Patterson. It's incomplete. Ooh. Tough situation there, they got a hot look but he doesn't have a hot receiver. They were trying to run the shallow. They ran the motion again to Kramer, trying to run the shallow to him. The backer looked him up. There's nowhere to go with the football. 
They're going to bring Lynn on to attempt the field goal. But this hash now, he's going to have to play yarder. the wind a little bit. It's going to be the 25 yard attempt. They're going to spot it at the 15. T Love, the holder. Snap back, kick is up, and kick is good. 20 to 17, now our score. 7.38 to go here in the third quarter. Saints get points on the opening drive of the half. We'll be back. 